What is good everybody welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'll show you how i made this power module to calculate the power consumed by a dc load when connected with a microcontroller like arduino we can easily measure the voltage of the source the current consumed and the power consumed by the load so let's get into the construction of the module these are the parts required to make the module and as you can see the parts are very simple they include a couple of resistors a few capacitors an operational amplifier, the shunt resistor, a PCB board and two screw terminals. These are the components required for the current sensing. I've already made a video on current sensing. The link to that video will be in the description below. So let's start the build by soldering in the screw terminals. Now after soldering the screw terminals, let's solder the shunt resistor in place. You can easily get such kind of shunt resistor from a multimeter. After soldering the shunt resistor in place, it's time to place the components which will be used for voltage sensing. For voltage sensing, I'll be using a voltage divider network made from two resistors of 10 kilo ohms and 1 kilo ohm each. We add a filter capacitor to reduce some noise. Let's solder the components in place and clip off the extra leads using a nail cutter. This is what the solder traces look like after soldering the voltage divider network. Now it's time to solder the 8 pin IC base and the resistors for the current sensing circuit. Now I am using an operational amplifier in a non-inverting amplification mode with a gain of around 40. After soldering in the IC base and the resistors, it's time to complete the circuit and connecting the common grounds. Make sure to keep the solder leads to a minimal so as to avoid voltage drops. Mm -hmm. 
Now we add the 4 pin header in order to make the module connected to the Arduino. So once the soldering is complete, this is what the module looks like. Now we put in the IC LM358 which is the dual operational amplifier. And our module is complete. Now let's connect the module with the Arduino so that we can get the real time values. Now for display I'll be using a small OLED screen and connect the modules with the jumper wires and a breadboard. First we connect the power wires to the breadboard so that we have a common rail. We power the OLED display with 5 volts and ground. We connect the jumper wires from the power module to the Arduino. We connect the current and voltage readings to analog pin A0 and A1 of the Arduino. And then we connect the I2C connections for the OLED display. So our circuit is complete. Now let's test the circuit with a load and a power source. For a power source, I'll be using a 12 volt battery pack, and for the load, I'll be using this 12 volt DC fan. So let's connect up the battery and then the fan. The fan is running with the battery power. It's time to power up the Arduino and check the power consumed by the fan. So as you can see this fan is consuming around 2.5 watts of power at a current rating of 250 milliamps. The current sensor in this power module is very accurate and can detect currents as low as 50 milliamperes. I hope you like this video of the power module. Please share your feedback in the comment section and I will link all the relevant files, the codes, the circuit diagram in the description below.